An overlooked but really useful feature of the Nova line by Thunder Laser is the dual air control system. It provides precise control over two air sources, which can be automatically switched in the middle of a job. Let me tell you all about it in today's guided tour down the rabbit hole. One thing I love about Thunder Laser is that they're always listening to customer feedback and refining their systems. The Nova 35 I bought for my home workshop maybe four years ago didn't come with this dual air control system. Regardless, I was so impressed with that model that it led us to getting the Nova 63 for here in the IdeaWorks Innovation Center at Washington College. So their addition of the dual air control was an unexpected surprise upgrade. So what is so great about dual air control? Most lasers come with an air pump like this that is routed through the nozzle at the lens. The airflow is necessary to keep the soot and debris from collecting on the lens, but it also assists in the etching and, more importantly, in the cutting process. If I run the laser with the air turned down very low, just enough to protect the lens from the rising sooty smoke, you can see the effect on the cutting. The pressure of the air assist blows the vaporized material away and extinguishes the flame in the process. So if you're cutting a thick material or a material that is prone to flare-ups, a higher pressure air assist is beneficial. And this is where the dual air control comes in. To use this feature, I ran an airline off of our high pressure compressor through a combination air filter water separator with a secondary pressure regulator and then through the back of the laser. I'm using this secondary regulator so I can leave the overall pressure high for using air tools and uh, have the laser safely limited to about 40 PSI. I did a custom install in our case, drilling a hole through the back of the laser's body and installing a bulkhead fitting to pass the air through uh, into the laser housing rather than just fishing an airline in through an opening somewhere. In any case, the new high pressure line ties in here where the supplied lower pressure pump was previously split to feed both the high and the low pressure side of the dual air control. Why would they manufacture it this way with the low pressure pump routed to both the low and the high pressure side? It's really for safety. If the high pressure side came with nothing feeding to it and then I accidentally tried to use it during a cutting job, I would open the solenoid valve to align with no pressure and the job would run with no air assist. So obviously this would be a problem and could damage the lens, might cause a fire, you know, without any air assist at all. So I disconnected the other half of the low pressure split, sealing off the one side, and then I replaced it with the feed that I ran from the bulkhead fitting in the back that supplied my high pressure air. The dual air assist has a nice test button feature so that way I can know prior to running a job just how each of the air feeds is adjusted. And speaking of adjustment, you can dial in the airflow rate individually for each of the feeds with these two rotating and lockable valves. So you can rotate it uh, clockwise to close it down, and then spin this nut to lock it off where it is, or I can spin it all the way counterclockwise to open up the valve, and again, closing off the lower um, lock nut will hold it where it is. I tend to run them both wide open because I adjust the high pressure feed on that secondary air pressure regulator that I have hooked in line with my big compressor, and I don't limit the power, or I don't limit the air coming from the smaller compressor. So how do you use the dual air control? In Lightburn, you can see the parameters set for each layer. In this example, I have an etch layer and I have a cut layer. I've got the etch layer's air setting turned off and the cut layer set with the air on. In both cases, there will be air, but it refers to whether the high pressure air is on, I guess. Um, so the job starts, the low pressure air is used while etching, and then as soon as it switches to the cut layer, it turns off the solenoid for the low pressure air, turns on the solenoid for the high pressure air, and it continues using the high pressure air source. And of course, when it finishes, the TL timer feature will leave the air compressor running uh, just for a little while and the exhaust running for a little while longer as well for this preset amount of time that you can, you can adjust um, before it shuts them both off. Um, and this is done so the laser can't accidentally be left um, just bleeding air out of the compressor unnecessarily or pumping air out of the building just continuously if you leave the exhaust fan going indefinitely, um, which basically pumps all of your air conditioning out or your heat out depending on the season. On my older Nova 35 laser at home, I just switched it over to using my high pressure compressor all the time. And I can set the pressure uh, on that secondary regulator as I like, but it's not automatic. So I can adjust it based off of whether I'm etching or cutting. And so anyone who uses the laser for both etching and cutting will agree that it seems like the etching jobs are the ones that seem to take forever, or at least they take a lot longer. 
Um, if I'm etching a large item in there, depending on the speeds I set, it could run for you know, hours possibly. Um, and I don't need the high pressure air uh, for when I'm etching like that. So if I only have that nice expensive uh, air compressor that does it all, then when it's running the uh, expensive compressor to do etching for hours, it cycles it on and off and on and off for hours and hours. And that's hard of the compressor. So by using this, uh, the new dual air control system uh, that Thunder Laser has, it lets the high pressure compressor take a break um, when it's not needed during the etching. And so it ends up using less power and then you know, preserves the life of your compressor. If you found this tip useful, be sure to subscribe to the channel and learn more about getting the most from your Thunder Laser. Thanks for watching.